What's up guys, Fusion360 Elite here and this is my 100th upload so I just wanted to talk to you about a phobia that I have it's called agoraphobia and it's ba for people that don't know what it is basically it's a phobia of outdoors, open, wide open places, stuff like that it's pretty much the opposite of claustrophobia pretty much and I've had it for like since I was about 12, so I'm 26 now, so like 14 years I've had it, and I just thought I would upload this because it's my 100th video, so I thought I would let you guys know a bit about me, but pretty much, I don't really know why, why I'm like it, I mean I don't, I mean I, I had a pretty bad school time and all that. I just hated school. I mean, I got bullied and stuff like that. But I've never really grown out of it. So I think it's more habit, and I've got used to it. So it's pretty hard for me to talk about it because I hate talking about feelings and how I feel. But pretty much it. I can't go out on my own anywhere. It's like even shopping or if I want, I don't know, bar chocolate, I have to go with someone to go and get it. And it's kind of hard for everyone else to understand it, I think, because I'll, I'll tell them that I can't go out because obviously it's a fear of the outside more than anything I think it is and my family are pretty understanding but when you try and tell people it's like I don't know they look at you f I think that they look at you funny and think well you're just bullshitting but I suppose people that don't understand things they're confused by I suppose but it's kind of hard living with it because when you go outside I get anxious as well so if I go out I need to like hurry them up to get a move on so I can actually get back inside so if I'm like if I'm in a car I'm okay if I'm in if I'm in the building shopping or whatever I'm fine then I could just get around do it get back in the car come home so I don't really I don't go out much unless it's like family so, social life is like non-existent, I mean, I love gaming, so I'm, I don't care about that, to be honest, I don't drink, I don't smoke, so, well, I'm not one of these going out clubbing types, but, I don't really, I don't really like telling people about this, but, I thought for my 100th upload, it would be a good thing to touch on because I don't think many people actually know what agoraphobia is so if you, if you, if you, if you want to know more just google it I mean I'll probably put something in the description about it but I mean you can google it there's loads of it I mean even on YouTube there's people that have got agoraphobia and they have done vlogs and whatever whatever they do with it and some of them that I've seen are pretty much exactly the same as me like they need to wait for someone to go shopping they need to wait or get someone to go to the doctors with them or something like that because even going to the doctors I have to go with someone so pretty much 90% of my 90% of my time I'm actually spent with my family so I mean they, they help me out a lot for when I need things, so I suppose I suppose they're a good family. I suppose pretty much like anyone else's family. I suppose they would help you if you needed it. So, but then can't choose our family, can we? So I just thought I'd let you let you guys know a little bit about me. So yeah, I don't go out. I'm a nerd. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm a nerd, but I love gaming, I love 
anything to do with games it's just I have a lot of time to do these videos so I'll probably end up recording this two or three times but knowing me I'll do it once and then think bugger it and then just upload it and if you like it you like it if you don't you don't That's, I'll just upload it because I want to not because someone's making me or whatever I'm not even not even into all that shit I'll just do it because I feel like I want to do it and because it takes my mind off of everything else so so yeah agoraphobia is pretty much a bad thing to live with for some people I mean it's it's pretty bad for me because I don't I don't go out anywhere to be honest I mean if it the furthest that I go is probably out for a meal or whatever I mean but then I I just don't like I don't like loads of people I can't deal with it it just I'd rather just stay at home and have a kebab or something I just can't can't deal with loads of people and like face to face stuff like that I just feel so uncomfortable and awkward talking to people face to face I mean talking on here is pretty easy I could just sit here talking crap all day but can't do that because well I could because I don't go out anywhere but I like to play Minecraft, Call of Duty you know I'll just get on and play shit and I do play shit sometimes Call of Duty is just don't get me started but I've been I've been alright on that getting a couple of Moabs but yeah I'm going off track here now talking about games again but that is pretty much what I wanted to talk about the agoraphobia side and the anxiety I mean it's it's not as the anxiety is not as bad nowadays to what it was I mean before it was like I wouldn't go anywhere I mean uh, even down oh, sorry I got disconnected from Xbox Live I even like before I wouldn't even like walk out to the car to get something where sometimes now I can well I say sometimes but it depends like if I know someone's close to me that I know then I can go I could walk there and do it but if if I'm inside and I've left someone out in the car I've always got to get someone else to go and get it so even stuff like that is I still got to rely on somebody I mean people will probably think oh that's sad you need to rely on people to help you and stuff like that but I don't care what you think I mean, don't, don't judge me you don't know who I am I don't judge you so fuck off that's what I say if you don't like it then you don't need to keep watching this video so if you got to this far then you know what I mean what's the point you're gonna judge me over something that I can't control so whatever go and hate somewhere else or whatever but I mean I've been getting a lot of hate on Xbox Live as well like because my play that my days played on Call of Duty is like 34 days but there's a reason for that obviously because I've just said that I've got agoraphobia and I can't go outside and all that so my release I suppose my getaway is gaming and I play so much Call of Duty that it's unreal I mean I probably play like 8 hours a day and it's just it's a ridiculous amount of time but I'm getting out of breath now while I was talking but I think that just because I've got all this agoraphobia and anxiety and all that don't mean that like I'm a I'm a stupid person or I'm awkward to talk to or anything like that I mean maybe to me I, I, I find talking to people that I kind of know then I'm fine but people that I don't know I find it hard talking to them like even over Xbox Live I mean I've got um, Turtle Beach headset but I very rarely have my mic plugged in because even things like that I find it hard doing which is kinda weird because 
in a way, I suppose it's just talking, like talking to you guys, but but it's not because then you get some idiot like, oh, look, you're always on here, uh, all that crap. But let them get on with it. But I mean, I've I've spoken to pretty much quite a few people about agoraphobia and stuff like that. But whatever I do, if I talk to anyone, have medication and whatever, it just it's still there. I mean, even when I was living with my ne an ex-girlfriend, even in a different county to where I live now, it was still it was still there. I still had agoraphobia. I couldn't go out, so I still had to rely on her to take me somewhere. So that's probably why she's an ex now, because she got fed up with it. But it was pretty hard. I mean, we went through some hard times, but that's not why I've got agoraphobia. I mean, that that happened when I was at like 12, like I said, like through my school time and all that. So maybe it was bullying, or I don't know. I mean, I wish I did know because then maybe I could change it. But it's been so long that I don't think it is going to change. It's just going to stay as it is. Until I suppose until I really push myself to change it, but where I live now, <laughs> I actually hate where I live, so I don't think it's gonna change here somehow. Let's get job gaming job or something that'd do me. Or oh, one after the bloody, well, I still won't have to go out because I could just work from home. That'd suit me, a work from home job. If they ask me, oh, why do you want to work from home? Yeah, I've got agoraphobia, so I don't go out. Well, at least they know where I am, wouldn't they? But anyway, guys. Sorry if I went off the track a bit, and my voice is a bit shaky, because I really don't like talking about this kind of stuff. But I thought it was just good to get it out there, so you guys know a bit about me. And I've rabbit it on for like... 13 minutes now, 13 minutes on Friday the 13th, that's a good one, isn't it? But I will upload this on the 14th, probably, Saturday, yeah. So, I'll upload this on the 14th, because it'll be my, hum hu I can't even talk now, that'll be my 100th upload. And, I hope you guys like the gameplay, I'm not sure what gameplay I'll have, but I might put mo a Moab, an infected Moab on it, but sure either that minecraft something like that but yeah i hope you guys kind of get what i'm talking about with the agoraphobia about you can't go out and stuff like that and and then you get i'll get anxi an anxious so which makes it worse and then i'll just don't want to go out again the next time and it just goes round and round and round and then of course because of that then you start comfy in and then you feel really low and it's just it's so I suppose it's such a struggle to get motivated to actually do things because like you comfort eat and then you don't want to go out and then because you comfort eat you put weight on and then ugh, it's just it's just an endless circle of crap. But I guess that's life. I mean, everyone everyone has their own problems, has their own issues to deal with. But I think I cope with everything that I've got pretty well. I mean, I really don't like doctors. I don't like medication. I don't like. I can't. I'd rather just be left alone to get on with my life and do it how I want rather than having doctors or family or or friends or whatever trying to tell me that I need to change because the more people try and change me and get me to change I'm not gonna do it I'm just gonna ignore them and get on and do life how I want and the more they go on it's just it's just gonna push me away and not want to do it so, fuck them. I don't care what they say. What they they can't do anything, can they? If I want to live my life a certain way, then that's up to me. 
I mean, no one tells you how to live your life, so why should they tell me how to live mine? Or change this, change that. I mean, if I'm if I'm used, I suppose I'm I'm not the happiest how I am, but I mean, I'm better than what I was a couple of years ago, like because I just went through some really bad times a couple of years ago and. And that was like, that was crazy. But that might be enough. <laughs> that might be my 200th video. But I don't know yet. It depends how all this YouTube stuff goes. I might, I might upload a bit more about myself in the future. You never know. I mean, depends how this video gets liked or commented or hated. I mean, if you're gonna hate, just go somewhere else because I pretty much don't care what you think. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I know I've carried it on a bit. I mean, like 17 minutes, whatever now, 16 minutes, but I'm gonna have to find like five gameplays to put over it. So, I hope you guys like the gameplay and get the gist of what I'm trying to say because I, find, I just find it too hard. To actually explain how I feel because well being a bloke, you know, we're crap at telling our feelings, but I just wanted to explain the, the phobia side of it rather than how I feel. Because how I feel is just I don't know, I wouldn't I wouldn't wish it on anyone to be honest, because I, I mean I'm not saying I've had the worst life, but some of the stuff that I've been through, I mean, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy, to be honest. But, I mean, I suppose what don't kill us makes us stronger and all that. So, I will shut up talking now, and I will let you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And, I will see you later.